Some sad news now to share with you about a member of our Channel 4 family. Jason Mealy, a beloved news producer and assignment editor, died today. This evening, I spoke with his wife, Michelle, by phone, who told me Jason died of a heart attack. He was 48 years old. Michelle and Jason, they were married 23 years. Jason had a passion for his work planning and putting together newscasts and for the responsibility of sending news crews to story scenes throughout our viewing area. He won an Emmy Award for his coverage of the shooting at a video gaming tournament at the Jacksonville Landing in 2018. Tomorrow, Jason would have celebrated his 13th year here at News for Jax. Outside of work, he loved his Baltimore sports teams, the Orioles, the Ravens, but Michelle told me that he also loves their adopted city of Jacksonville until it was time for the Jaguars to actually play the Ravens. Jason recently reflected about his childhood and memories of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which collapsed when it was hit by a cargo ship last month. He wrote a special web story called A Bridge to Jacksonville from Baltimore. You can find a link to that article inside our tribute to Jason. It's right on the homepage of newsforjax.com. You know, a memory that really makes me smile. I'm at times the bearer of bad news on the weekends when, when, uh, Police sources contact me. I would call Jason. He was on the assignment desk to give him the information. He would always answer my call, and I would say, hey, Jason, try to sound chipper and pleasant. And he would always laugh at me and say, well, this can't be good. You're calling me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was always a great conversation, and we're really going to miss him. It just happened so suddenly yeah. today. So sudden, you know, Jason came to News for Jack's Ride around the same time that I did. You know, we would often talk about the similarities we had. He being from the Baltimore area, me from the D.C. area. Yeah. You know, Jason was always steady. He was always cool, calm, collected, always. And he just recently celebrated 25 years in the news business. He is deeply missed here at News for Jack's. He is survived by his stepbrother, Ronnie. And Michelle says their dog, Chase, that they've had for two years is also having a hard time missing him being in their presence. We'll be right back.